Hey everyone, so today I have a pretty big uh, used anime and manga haul for you all to show you. Um, this is the manga and anime that I've gotten since like Thanksgiving, all the used stuff. So let's get into this. The first thing I got was Monster Volume 1, which is awesome because now I have the whole series of Monster again. Because as you all know, I sent the first three volumes to Brit. And now I own it again. So yay! Another book that I got at Pals was Mei Sunny Koku Volume 1. Uh, this was really, really exciting to find because this is a series that's out of print. Um, and I got this because I found it with the first three volumes. Uh, and I sent the other two to Brit, as you can see from her unboxing video that she made recently. So cool. Now I own the first volume. So uh, this was awesome. I really, really love this series. Then, sometime in December, I went to Hastings and got a bunch of manga. The first is actually from a series that I really, really like and I have not been able to get it more of, so I'm really happy that I got these. Volume 10 of Black Cat, 11, 12, Volume 13, 14, 15, and finally Volume 16. I found all of these used at Hastings one day and I decided to get them. Uh, they were having a sale, buy two, get the third one free, so that's awesome. I love this series. Uh, one of my favorite Shonen series, obviously. Then I decided to get Loveless Volume 1 at the same on the same day because I've been meaning to collect this series. Um, I've been getting into Shonen Eye and Yaoi lately, as you know, so I'm really happy to finally have another series that I can read. And this is also one of the series that I read a little bit illegally online, so I decided I should probably buy it, so I got it. Then I got some more Tokyo Pop manga. I got Fruits Basket Volume 5 and Volume 6. As you know, Kyo Chan sent me the first four volumes, um, so thank you for that, Kyo Chan. And now I'm finally slowly collecting each individual volume. Uh, there's 23 in this series, so I'm catching up slowly. Then my friends and I decided to go out one day um, after Christmas, and we got a f I got a few more manga. I got Volume 4 of Ice Shield 21, which is cool, so now I'm trying to collect this series as well, kind of slowly. Uh, this was really, really cheap. This is only 99 cents, so I decided why not. I got Trigon Maximum Volume 3, which is awesome because I love Trigon, as you all know, so I'm happy to finally own Volume 3 of it. Um, I need to read Volume 2 of the big version manga that I have, and then I can read Maximum, so cool. Then I also got some anime used that I found, which is cool. Um, it was really, really cheap price, too. I got Sayuki Reload DVD 1. Um, this is actually a promotional copy. I think it's only meant for um, the uh, rental stores, I guess. So that's kind of annoying, but, you know, for three ninety nine, I guess, might as well. And I also got Volume 2 of the series, which is nice, too. Uh, these are Jinion series, um, Jinion anime. Uh, so it's going to be hard to find the rest of them. Um, I think they're actually on right stuff, so maybe not too hard to find, but still, I'm happy to have that. And then I got Gundam 0080 War in a Pocket, Volume 1, as well as Volume 2. So this is the whole series of the uh, side story to the UC franchise, so that's nice. Um, this is one of the, the side stories, actually. There's more of them, but it's only two volumes, so that's cool, and it was only eight bucks for the whole series. I think that's freaking awesome. Then I went out today with my mom and got four or five more manga. I got Wish Volume 1. Um, as you all know, or maybe you don't know, uh, some of you know I've been getting into Clamp's manga recently. Um, Brit sent me the first volume of one of their series, so that's awesome of her, and so I've been getting into more of their series. Um, I really love Clamp, so I'm excited to figure out what this is about. I don't even know what this is about, honestly. Um, it looks kind of cute, so, you know, we'll see, see what, what this has to offer. Then I got Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicles, uh, Volume 1, Volume 2, as well as Volume 3. This is also another manga that I read online illegally, uh, the first chapter, I think, maybe a little bit more of that. But, um, so I'm glad I finally own it to kind of ease my embarrassment and, you know, how ignorant I was back then. I also want to get, uh, X-19, or X, uh, or Holic. I forget, it has an X in it, but I don't think you're supposed to say it. But it's Holic, and I want to get that because it's like a side story to this. It, it goes with this series, so, um, that would be awesome if I could get those. 
And then the last manga I got from this whole haul is Bus Gamer, the prequel, or the pilot edition, actually. And this is from the creator of Sayuki, so that's probably the o that's really the only reason I got it because I like Sayuki, and the art is just like Sayuki. Um, it's really really good. I really like it, as you can see. See, huh? It's pretty cool. And this honestly kind of sounds like um, Future Diary in a way. It's about a game that they have to play and they find out that there's murder and deceit and mystery and it sounds interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the rest of the volumes though because this is a Tokyo Pop series so uh, if you know if there's any more volumes of this series let me know because this is just the pilot edition. I don't know what that means honestly. It's just like a I guess this is a prequel. I don't know. Tell me if you know what this is, because I just kind of picked it up because it's Sayuki. So, cool. So that's my haul, my huge um, used anime and manga haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. I finally filmed it, so I'm happy. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.